Welcome to ZapTest Tutorials. In this tutorial, you will learn about the ZapTest load component, and you will build your first API load test. We will begin by creating a simple API test. We will use the API Explorer to define the API server object. Here we will type the ZapTest demo API server's address and select the load WSDL data checkbox. From the list of methods, we will select Get Products and define the product names for validation in the Checklist tab. Next, we will define a step for this method in our test. To do this, we will drag the method item to the step view and select the execute and check response by list operation. During a test run, we can measure the time of execution of one or several steps by defining start and end transaction. To do this, we will use the zap utility item from the toolbox and select the start transaction method. Here we will type the logical name for the transaction. We need to use the same name in the end transaction step. Our test script is ready. We will save it with the name Load Get Products. Next, we will run the test and review its results. The results must have a passed status. Next, we will use the load module to build a load test scenario and execute it. To add a test script to our load test scenario, we will click the Add button and select the test script we just created. Next, we will configure the execution and limitation settings for this virtual users group. For the stop criteria, we will select By Time and specify run duration, 1 minute. In the execution policy, we will keep this selection to allow repeated executions of our test script. Using the load generator settings, we will define constant load of 10 concurrent users. Our load test scenario is ready. We will save it to a load configuration file with the name Load Tutorial 1. To execute the load test, we will press the Run button on the Load Modules toolbar. During a test run, we can monitor performance metrics live. Graphs will show the number of active virtual users, minimum and maximum latency values for API requests and error logs. After the test run is complete, we will open the test results. The results report provides general information about the load test and includes statistics and graphs for each method or transaction used in the test. We can select any particular graph and use filters to explore counters of interest. A graph data can also be viewed in a tabular format. For more information about ZapTest features and functionalities, please navigate to our How To portal, either through our forum page or through ZapTest help on the ZapTest website. Thank you for using ZapTest.